I know what time it is. I need a quorum here in one hour, and I want Steve here, too. You took me off the Mac, and it was bad business. The quorum call was a homicide. Right there, right there. That's the part that's bullshit, my friend. It was a suicide, because you knew your cards, and I showed you mine. I showed you mine, and you did it anyway. What did you think I was going to do? I'm OK losing, but I'm not going to forfeit. I'm not OK losing. We're losing market share, and the Mac is losing money. Our only hope is the Apple II, which is stagnating because of its soon-to-be obsolete DOS. Users are already rigging their machines to run with the CPM operating system that's been built to run on Intel. I can't put it more simply than this. We need to put our resources into updating the Apple II. By taking resources from the Mac. It's failing. That's a fact. It's overpriced. There's no evidence that it's... I'm the evidence! I'm the world's leading expert in the Mac, John. What's your resume? You're issuing contradictory instructions. You're insubordinate. You make people miserable. Our top engineers are fleeing to Sun, Dell, HP. Wall Street doesn't know who's driving the bus. We've lost hundreds of millions in value, and I'm the CEO of Apple, Steve. That's my resume. But before that, you sold carbonated sugar water, right? I sat in a fucking garage with Wozniak and invented the future because artists lead and hacks ask for a show of hands. All right, well, this guy's out of control. I'm perfectly willing to hand in my resignation tonight, but if you want me to stay, you can't have Steve. Settle him out. He can keep a share of stock so he gets our newsletter. He'll have to sever his connection to Apple. I'm dead serious. I want the secretary to call for a vote. I fucking dare you. You have done an outstanding job over the years of cultivating the press, and by that I mean manipulating them, because none of them, and I'm none of their editors, none of their editors, publishers, to this day know that you forced it, that you forced the board. Even after I told you exactly what they do, which is exactly what they did, unanimously. I don't have any trouble remembering that, John, because of it being the worst night of my life. And I forced the vote because I believed I was right. I still believe I'm right, and I'm right. No, I bled that night, and I don't bleed. But time's done its thing, and I really haven't thought about it in a while. Ah, I absolutely understand why you're upset, and I want people to know the truth, too. It's time. Got it. You're to end me, aren't you? You're being ridiculous. I'm gonna sit center court and watch you do it yourself. Then I'm going to order a nice meal with a 55 Margot and sign some autographs. Jesus Christ. You want some advice, Pepsi Generation? Don't send Waz out to slap me around the press. Anybody else, you, Markla, Arthur Rock, anyone but Rain Man. Don't manipulate him like that. Whatever you may think, I'm always going to protect him. Come on, Steve. That's what men do. Can't start late.